Vasyl Lomachenko becomes a freeweight world champion, wrestling the WBA Super World Lightweight title from Jorge Linares via 10th round TKO. This was a very good performance by Vasyl Lomachenko. He displayed all of the skill, the athleticism and the ability that we've come to know for, from him in the past. But he also displayed the ability to battle back from adversity, something which he hasn't shown in the past. I mean, he had a rough fight against Salido, but he didn't go on to win that fight. In this fight, he was dropped in the six by Linares. He was well on top in the fight, well on top. But he got a little overconfident, a little reckless, a little careless, and he got caught by a straight right hand down the pipe from Linares in the six. And it was so against the run of play. It was so against the tide that I think it shocked Linares as much as it did Lomachenko. <laughs> because Linares was still overwhelmed. He was still in a psychological state where he felt overwhelmed by Vasyl Lomachenko. That when Lomachenko got up and it was a clean knockdown, it wasn't a flash knockdown or anything like that. Lomachenko was caught banging the face with a right hand. He went down pretty hard. He wasn't out of it or anything like that. He still had his faculties, but he was buzzed. 100% he was buzzed. And when he got back up, he was trying to circle away and move around and just see the round out. Linares didn't jump on him because Linares was still in this state of feeling overwhelmed. So he was almost scared to jump on Vasyl Lomachenko, despite the fact that that was his best opportunity to win the fight. Next round came and... Vasyl Lomachenko just got back on his job. He started overwhelming Linares again. He was being a bit more careful because <laughs> he didn't want to get clipped by that right hand again, which dropped him. Being a bit more careful, but he was still applying the pressure, doing his thing and winning the rounds. I'm actually very surprised by the scorecards at the time of the stoppage because the three judges had it. Uh, one of them had it 85-85 even. Uh, the other one had it 84 86 in favor of Linares and the third judge had it 86 84 in favor of uh, Lomachenko so the judges basically had the fight even going into the 10th round I'm very surprised by that because I thought Lomachenko was way ahead in this fight and you know I, I think maybe Linares you could give him the second round, possibly the first, but the first was close. Other than that, I wouldn't give Lenores a round other than the six where he scored the knockdown. Everything else was to Vasyl Lomachenko. And again, you have to be a little generous to give Lenores the first round, I feel. You know, so I'm surprised that the judges had it even, basically going into the 10th. I thought Lomachenko was more ahead than that. A good win. Three Freeweight world champion, multiple time world champion. And he managed to stop Linares in the 10th. Linares fell victim to what most Lomachenko opponents fall victim to. He just got overwhelmed. He started by trying to keep Lomachenko on the outside. Trying to do to Lomachenko what Vernon Forrest did to Shane Mosley, essentially. He knew he was in there with a guy who he couldn't match for speed and work rate and dexterity. So he tried to use his height and reach and just keep the guy at long range behind the jab. And as I say, do to Lomachenko what Vernon Forrest did to Mosley. But Lomachenko was just far too talented. He was pivoting all over the place. And once he gets revved, revved up, once he understands which angles he can attack you from, you're in serious trouble. And he is going to incessantly be on your case, throwing all kinds of shots from all kinds of different angles, never leaving you alone. And that's what happened. He, he gradually fell into this hypnotized state, which I've talked about before with uh, Lomachenko opponents. He got hypnotized. And after a while, he just mentally couldn't keep up with the frenetic movement and the speed of Lomachenko. He, it drained him mentally. It put him in this hip, hypnotized state where he was just getting lit up like a Christmas tree by the Vasyl Lomachenko artillery. So, yeah, it was a very good performance. I was impressed. There was excitement in this fight. It wasn't completely... I mean, I, I, like I say, I feel like Lomachenko was ahead on the cards comfortably. But 
there was at least a knockdown. There was at least the first couple rounds where it was relatively competitive and there was at least a knockdown in the sixth, which added a bit of drama. But Lomachenko closed the show in the tenth. He dropped Linares with a couple shots to the head followed by a body shot. Linares went down and he sat the count out. He could have got up. He could have got up. Some people were saying to me, he didn't quit. No, he did quit. If he didn't quit, then Kell Brook didn't quit. <laughs> you know, like he quit. Lenores quit. He could have got up from the punch. He wasn't like on his back like Maidana was in the first round against uh, Amir Khan, where he was proper writhing in agony from a body shot. No, Lenores wasn't in that position. He could have got up, but he chose to quit. You know, I'm not judging him for it. I'm not saying that I wouldn't have done the same thing in the same position. <laughs> right? That's not what I'm telling you. All I'm saying is I'm being a straight shooter and calling it what it is. He quit. He could have got up from that punch. Yeah. But he chose not to. He'd had the fight beaten out of him by Vasyl Lomachenko. And Lomachenko's got this extraordinary streak now of getting fighters to quit. <laughs> you know, Nicholas Waters quit. Regan Doe quit. And now Linares has quit. So, yeah, great performance. In terms of where this stands historically as a win for Vasyl Lomachenko against other great fighters of the past... I've said for many, many years, and anyone who's been following my channel and paying attention will know that I've been saying that Jorge Linares is one of the most overrated champions in boxing, largely because of Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn has been overhyping Jorge Linares because he's been losing to Linares. Linares has been beating up Eddie Hearn's fighters, people like um, Kevin Mitchell, <laughs> you know, Anthony Crawler, um... The latest one was Luke Campbell, although Luke Campbell did fairly well. So I've been saying for years after those fights that Linares is overrated. I've also been saying, you know, talking about how Linares got stopped by DeMarco, how Linares has been hurt and dropped in many fights, etc. So I'm not saying Linares is rubbish. He's not rubbish. He's a good fighter. But all this pound for pound stuff, which Eddie Hearn's been talking about over the past few years, was just complete nonsense. Um, but... Nonetheless, it was a good win for Lomachenko because he was facing a significantly bigger man. They did an on-the-night weigh-in, and I think Linares was more than 10 pounds heavier than Lomachenko, just to emphasize how big the size difference was. So, you know, you have to give Lomachenko credit. He's going to need to be a bit more careful, though, going up against the bigger fighters, giving away this kind of height and reach and punching power and size. Because if they do manage to clip him, it could be a lot worse than when Linares clipped him. You know, there are bigger punches out there than L Linares. And from a tactical point of view, Linares needed to switch to plan B when boxing on the outside wasn't working. And plan B should have been to impose himself physically on Vasyl Lomachenko and go for it and try to bully him and take him into the trenches. Because the boxing wasn't working. Now, I'm not saying that taking him into the trenches would have worked either. But if plan A ain't working, you better go to plan B and at least try it. But Linares has never been that kind of fighter. He's never been a physical guy. He's always been a guy who's a, a clean boxer. He's not a guy who can take a fight by the scruff of the neck, get down and dirty and impose himself physically on someone. And as Dwyer would say, make size an issue. Linares has never been that guy. And... You know, that's partially what cost him here. Because he had the power there to hurt Lomachenko. We saw it. He dropped him. But he didn't impose himself physically on Lomachenko. He tried to t make it too much of a boxing match. And that favoured the smaller, faster, more skillful man. You know, it favoured him. Because he didn't have to deal with Linares's physical strength. You know? Anyway, good performance by Vasyl Lomachenko. I always felt he would win this fight. To me, it was never in doubt. But he says he's going to stay at 135 pounds. That's what he said going into this fight, if he beats Linares. So it's going to be interesting to see if he will take on Mikey Garcia. Personally, I've got Mikey Garcia in that fight. I know Mikey Garcia is nowhere near as fast as Lomachenko. He's not as skilled, nothing like that. But where Linares is a little too polite to impose himself on you, Mikey Garcia is not polite, <laughs> right? 
Mikey Garcia will come into your house, home invasion style. I'm doing my best Dwyer impression right here, people. He will come into your house and he'll do the home invasion. <laughs> you understand what I'm telling you? Mikey Garcia is not polite at all. So, and Mikey Garcia is very sharp on the front foot. Very sharp. Uh, Lenares is quite sharp in the middle of the ring, boxing, or on the back foot. But on the front foot, that's not Lenares' strength on the front foot. You know, he's not that good at picking shots on the front foot and pressuring people. But Mikey Garcia is very good at that. Very good. Very sharp. Powerful punch. More, stronger and more powerful than Lenares. A better punch picker on the front foot. A better counter puncher on the front foot. I'd be taking Mikey Garcia in that fight. If Lomachenko was able to beat a guy like Garcia, now we're talking about a historically good win. Now we're starting to talk about stuff like that. Yeah, because Garcia is huge compared to Lomachenko. And he really is the man at lightweight as far as I'm concerned. You know, I, I, I always felt that if Garcia and Lenares were to fight, Garcia would take Lenares' head off. I've been saying that for years. So, uh, yeah, anyway, good performance by Lomachenko. And it's very exciting to see how he's going to do it lightweight. Will the Mikey Garcia fight happen? And again, if he beats Mikey Garcia, sky's the limit for Vasyl Lomachenko. <laughs> sky's the, he's already doing very, very well. Just stepping up and fighting world-class fighters who are way bigger than him. You know, not, let's not get it twisted. This is, this is a very good win. Um, but it wasn't against the best lightweight out there. That's all I'm saying, you know, but just the fact that he's stepping up and fighting guys who are so much bigger that are world class is a great achievement in its own. So anyway, let me know how you feel about Vasyl Lomachenko, his performance here, Jorge Linares, where you would like to see both fighters go from here. Yeah, let me know in the comments, people. It's happening. I'm out.